Hey guys, so this is the first video that I've ever done, but uh, I was talking to some some friends online um, about records. I got a, we got a, my wife and I, we have a pretty big uh, media collection at home, records, um, VHS, DVDs, comics, uh, movie memorabilia, toys, stuff like that, and um we were talking about some stuff that I acquired and they said, wow, you know, you, you know, how, how much do you pay for that? And, you know, we buy stuff on the cheap and, um, they said, man, how you know, how do you find that stuff? And so I'm going to show you, um, you know, we live, uh, between Toledo, Ohio and Detroit, Michigan. We get maybe four months a year of prime, like garage sale, flea market weather. So you got to get creative when you live around, these parts a lot of antique malls a lot of thrift shops a lot of salvation armies goodwills and by the way you don't always find good stuff um sometimes all day you look and you find nothing but garbage but good or bad i'm gonna put it all on here so today we're gonna hit a couple places i had to take sheila to the doctors i'm actually waiting for her in the uh, uh parking lot of her doctor's office right now and uh we're we're in taylor michigan today and I think we, we're going to hit Taylor, we're going to hit Southgate, uh, both downriver, Detroit area. Uh, we're going to hit a couple Salvation Armies or Goodwills, I can't remember which is which. But I'll put the I'll put the address up so you guys can check them out if you get a chance. And um, by the way, we're collectors. We don't sell. So I don't care what it's worth. Um, I mean, it's cool to find something that's, that's valuable. And um, I'm not blind to you know the value of things but uh that's not what we're in for we're not flipping stuff we're not looking for stuff to sell online so um what i find i watch what i find i listen to um and it, it finds a home um with us um sometimes i might see something that i know somebody's looking for so i'll pick it up for them or uh something of trade value um that i know somebody's looking for and we can trade some stuff um but um, this is it. I'm not in it for the money. So um, what I find is uh, is ours, and it, it's uh, getting a good home. So we'll see what we find.
Okay, so uh, hours later, and uh, we're back at the house, and um, much to my chagrin, uh, the Taylor Michigan Goodwill uh, or uh, Salvation Army is permanently closed, so we ended up going to Southgate, and uh, then we hit a Goodwill close to home, and on the way back, didn't take any video there, but uh, we found a couple things there, so the, here's what we found. Um, Ray LaMontagne, The Sun Turns Black uh, CD. Uh, pretty cool. Um, and I think it was a quarter. Um, my wife found a VHS. Uh, Pound Puppies. Lovable, huggable. Something from her childhood that she's uh, into. She loves her pound puppies and I've never seen one of these so pretty cool find and uh, paid practically nothing for it so um, pretty, always pretty cool to find a old VHS. John Denver's Greatest Hits. Now, I think I've had five or six copies of this and I think I keep giving them away. And I, I went to listen to it a couple months ago, and I didn't have a copy. So I found a copy, a really nice, clean copy, too. Um, so I was happy to find that. Christmas Brass. And um, I gotta, I'm a junkie for Christmas albums. I saw this. I, I know nothing about it. But... I'm looking forward to listening to it, and in incredible condition, sell and shrink, and then I found the best of the best of Merle Haggard. I don't have any Merle Haggard. Uh, I have nothing against Merle Haggard, I just never really got much into him, the only, I only know a handful of his songs. I don't have a ton of country, but I figured this was a good place to start if I was going to start listening to Merle Haggard, so picked that up. And then the other place, uh, the place close to home, Sheila found 
cool little mermaid uh, coffee mug and then we found some DVDs Sheila found now and then I don't know that movie but she said that it wasn't super easy to find and I, I don't recall ever seeing a copy but so we picked that up Rob Zombie's Halloween Unrated director's cut didn't have this one um, not a huge huge fan of the Rob Zombies but we have like all the other Halloween movies so and then Eddie Murphy's Delirious we just got Eddie Murphy Raw on DVD so figured I gotta have Delirious if we have Raw so pretty cool stuff we found today um, and all under all that stuff under ten dollars so I think the albums and the CD uh, were two dollars and sixty five cents so the stuff's out there you just gotta dig for it but um, if you guys like this stuff uh, you know, click on like and su subscribe and um, we're going to hit a couple places I think tomorrow and um, I'll see you guys then.